When I say science, you say fun. Science. Fun. Science. Fun. fun. When I say science, you say fun. Science. Fun. Science. Fun. You ready? To <laughs> it's science time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's it's science time. All right, hey, it's Mr. C, and today I'm here once again with... Little C! And we're gonna be doing some fun science because science is lots of fun, don't you think? Yes. So what are we doing today? We do, we do, we do, we <laughs> Oh, that's right, we're, we're making um, a fire extinguisher, and I guess that was the fire truck coming? Yeah, it's <laughs> it coming sounds like an scale. ambulance, but... We do, we do. All right, so we've got our materials all separated equally so we can get started. Be saying yourself. Self? <laughs> How am I gonna do that? Well, we're gonna actually do it right now. So we divide it up. We have we each have some baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. We have some vinegar that we poured out into these separate little jars. We have our candles, matches, and always remember if you're messing with matches at home, be, be careful. careful. Um, it's not something you want to do I on your own. Too. I'm gonna light I'm, mine up. I'm a big kid now. So we're going to get our candles going, maybe, <laughs> Did it. Woo! that was hot. All right, so we've got our flame and what we're going to do actually is we're going to utilize the baking soda and the vinegar to create a chemical reaction that's going to help us here with um, extinguishing our candles. So we're each going to, I'm going to let you do however many you want. I'll set this over here. However many you want. Uh, spoonfuls of two. baking soda. You're going to do two? I'm not going to do two. All right. I'm, I'm not sure. I think I may just do one. I'm so do I'm going to do one little spoonful. I'm going to do one big. You're going to do a big spoon. Then I'll do two just because. And then I'm going to pour some vinegar in this. We're going to pour this in. And then I want you to watch what happens. Oh crap. Mine didn't go out because the bubbles kept coming back. All right, so as you could see from the footage, we did not pour the liquid on top of the candles. Instead, <laughs> well, at least on my just side. Just a little bit. So what's happening is, is our chemical reaction between the baking soda and the vinegar is producing carbon dioxide. And so carbon dioxide is actually heavier. Much heavier. Than oxygen. Yes. Because there's one carbon atom and two oxygen, oxygen. atoms. Get it together. Carbon Where's dioxide. You? And so it has a heavier molecular weight. And so we actually were pouring our carbon dioxide that we couldn't see over our candles and it was extinguishing the flame. Pretty sweet, right? Yeah. Let's actually put that in front of the camera again. Light yours up again. Let's do it again. Let's see what happens if we do it again. Perfect. I'm a big kid now. All right, so we're gonna do this experiment again and let's talk about a couple things. So I used two scoops of baking soda and how many did you use? One scoop. So maybe that was one of the reasons why I was able to get mine to extinguish, extinguish right? So I'm gonna do three scoops this time. And I'm gonna do one scoop again. You're gonna try one scoop again? Yeah, and then right. mine will be like this, control. All right, so I think I've got it set up in front of that other camera so we can see it well. Got this rinsed out. You don't, I'll let you. Eins. Zwei. I thought And it. there's matches on the floor, that's all right. Just leave them. Three. So now that we finally have our candles lit again, we are going to pour the vinegar in. One of the other things that we're not controlling is the amount of vinegar. So we're just randomly adding vinegar we to it. We could change so that. We could control that. I'm not worried about it right now. What do we think? We didn't do it the first time. No, we can't be controlled. All right. All right. So try not to pour the liquid on it. I'll try. No, oh, please don't. There we go. That's so cool.
That's awesome. Right. Success. Fist bump. So that is a super fun little way to kind of explore the world of chemical changes. We had our baking soda. We had a vinegar that produced. Oh, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, which is heavier, heavier than, than oxygen. oxygen. And we dump it down. Yes. All right. Whoa. So I know we produce carbon dioxide, so I'm guessing that this is a chemical or a physical change. What is this? This is a chemical change because like, you're never gonna get back that baking soda or that vinegar the same way it was. All right, so we've had, it's undergone a different process, right? Yes, and it's never going to be the same. It's never gonna go back to its original state. All right, it's like a so there you have it. It's what? It's like a butterfly. <laughs> it's like a butterfly. <laughs> it's undergone <laughs> metamorphosis. Not quite the same thing, chemical reaction. It's changing into something beautiful. It's changing into something beautiful. And we built this up a little bit. Sit back, enjoy the show. It's science time. It's so much fun. Learning fun for everyone. Every